Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. This time we're looking at Star Wars Destiny. This is the two player game with dice and cards. And it contains 48 premium cards, 16 premium dice. This is aimed at ages 10 and up. And of course this is a two player game. Because it's called the two player box. Uh, it takes about 30 minutes to play. Fantasy Flight did it so I'm sure it's fine as far as the way the game is played. Fantasy Flight's done some amazing stuff with the Star Wars properties. This box features the sequel trilogy from Disney, but there are boosters and starter decks for the other characters like Boba Fett and Luke Skywalker. So you don't have to be too disappointed if you don't like the new Disney trilogy. So this does use number one protective sleeves, which are standard trading cards size. So let's open this up, see what we got. We should have... Like I said, 48 cards and 16 dice. So let's see what we've got here. I'm going to tell you right now, the box... It's not inspiring a lot of confidence because this is really trash cardboard. It's definitely a step down from what you usually get from Fantasy Flight. Alright, so we've got some paperwork here. And there's our dice. We'll look at this a little more closely in a minute. Let's take a look at this stuff here. It's just a big Ziploc baggie. That's, that's high quality right there. I guess I could put some leftover pizza in it later. Alright, this entire giant bag is really just designed to hold that advert. Because everything else is really small. Alright, so you've got Destiny Booster Packs for Empire at War. Advertisement. And that's it. That's that's what that big bag was really for because everything else is like half the size of that. So here are our chits in little pieces. This is SWD08, A1 of 1. So we've got two rows of each. And you got some Mandalorian helmets. We're really milking that one. Then we got these number threes, ones, and. Squares get try and get a closer look at those. Then the thickness is fine on these. On the back is the same imagery. Not anything real spectacular there. Uh, but it is good quality. I'll give them that. These do come out really easily, so if you want them in pristine shape, be aware of that. They do fall out fairly easily. Then we've got a fantasy flight catalog for summer 2017. And we got Lord of the Rings, or Legend of the Five Rings. Wrong, wrong genre. And there's some Star Wars stuff. And this gives you kind of an idea of the other booster boxes available too. That's all sequel trilogy stuff. But I know they have other ones. So, just regular advertisement insert. And then, we've got the actual rule book here, which is a fold-out. And it opens backwards, apparently. That's handy. So game plays on the back, then actions continued. Terms, customization, setup. You got your damage markers, shields, resources, and how to read the values, references, all that. So let's put that aside and we'll take a look at our dice and cards. All right, let's start with the dice. There are eight blue dice and nine red ones. And these appear to be different. These are actually pretty decent quality dice. They s look a lot cheaper than they really are. So we'll do these in little groups of three just to make it easier on me. Okay, so the first three we're going to look at are these three. Back 
side of those is going to look like that. All right, then we've got these three. No, my bad. There were only seven of these. Seven blue and nine red. It helps if I learn to count, I suppose. The imagery on here is really nice. These are not stickers. This is printed up. Well, are they stickers? Yeah, they are stickers. They're just really good stickers. Yeah, the, they're really well put together. I'm actually impressed. They looked a lot cheaper on the packaging than they did actually getting them. So I thought these were going to be a lot more junky than they are. The image quality is really good too. I'm impressed with that. I thought they'd really cut a lot of corners here. Mostly because the images on the, the cover of the box didn't look that good. And the, um, the entire thing with the box being kind of low end really didn't help my opinion of this going into it. Alright, the last three... All right, let's take a look at our card deck and we'll see how those look. Okay, so let's open these up. There are supposed to be 48 cards here. The booster packs have extra dice and cards, so that's kind of cool. All right, so first up we've got a little cheat sheet here. Dice symbols and actions. There's another one. This is a two player game, so everybody gets one. Then we get into the regular card decks. Just that's what the back looks like. Pretty simplistic, says Star Wars on it. And we've got Obi Wan's Hut. Followed by Sound the Alarm. These cards do have a similar layout to the Star Wars uh, card game that they did a few years back. So some of the art's probably going to look familiar. And the layout definitely does. There's Flank. Evade. Fierce Resolve. These are numbered as well, so there's that. Do or do not. Distraction. Defensive stance. Concentrate. Strategic planning. Recon. Logistics. 
Next up is Direct Hit. Honor Guard. Luke's Protection. Inner Strength. Ray's Lightsaber. I thought you mean Luke's. Poe Dameron's Blaster. Teamwork. Strike Team. Support Droid. Port Poe Dameron. We got Ray. Then we have Hangar Bay. Then we have an event called Subjugate. Perry. Doubt. Your skills are complete. Intimidate. Clash. As I have foreseen. Tactical Mastery. We've got Mobilize. Imperial Envoy. These are labeled Hero, Villain, or Neutral at the bottom. Just like the numbering, there's a little line here with other information, so be aware of that. I have you now. First Strike. Armored Support. Jedi Rival. Force Stasis. Cross Guard Lightsaber. Dark Council. Praetorian Guard. Captain Phasm's Blaster. Droid Commandos. Captain Phasm. And finally, Kylo Ren. All right. The cards are really nice quality. The art's recycled from a lot of other stuff, it looks like. Because I know I've seen this image before on the trading card game. Uh, it's a deck builder game they did called uh, Star Wars The Card Game from Fantasy Flight. But that's not a bad thing, necessarily, because the art is really well done. Uh, except for that one's a little off on her arms, but not a huge deal. Uh, so, yeah, overall, the art's great. The card quality is fantastic, like you usually get with Fantasy Flight. Well, I have to admit, the packaging was pretty deceptive, because as simplistic of a design as this is, it makes it look lazy. The packaging is garbage. The plastic insert is garbage. The Ziploc baggie looks like an afterthought but the components for the actual game are really nice so i think this actually could be a lot of fun it looked like from skimming the rules real quick it looked pretty quick and easy it looks like a game you can play in half an hour so it's a interesting take on a standard trading card game with dice added and it's a neat, neat gimmick i'll have to give them that so I am intrigued to start playing this and see how it is. I'll probably play it a couple of times and give it to somebody I know. But overall, I thought it was pretty cool. You can find these at a reasonable price nowadays, and it's a two-player game here. They have other starters, too, so if you want to have other people, you want to play as Luke Skywalker, Boba Fett, you could do that. And they have boosters out, too, that have new cards and new dice. We might look at some of those later. But I would have to say I'm actually impressed with the components. The packaging is just trash, though. I can see why this didn't take off quite as well as it probably could have or should have. Just because it looks kind of lazy. And the cardboard box is junk. And that plastic insert that holds the dice is trash. That thing's going to get broken real fast. So you would need something to store your cards and dice in. And they need something better than what they've got here. But overall, it does look pretty fun. So, I was actually impressed with the quality of the components, but the packaging, I think, killed this way before it ever could have got an audience. 
But that's going to do it. We've seen what's inside. You've heard my take on it. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, pick yourself something up nice from the merch store or you can support me through other means. All those links are in the description. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.